Hey guys, so today I thought I'd change it up from my seat and do a bit more of a vlog approach. I'll be sharing five easy and fun ways how to relax at home. And for me, it's so important because we're on a laptop, we're working all the time. And if you don't give yourself those moments of downtime or you time, you're going to get burnt out. So sometimes, you know, whether it's making a terrarium or even doing some affirmation and tarot cards, you've got to find what works best for you. So here are five things that I like to do that maybe you can try as well. Let's go. So self-care is so important. And I know this is probably looking like a shameless plug, but honestly, it's something I do, I love, and I highly recommend is hair oiling. It's so relaxing, taking that time in your day to just massage your scalp, do good for your hair and your roots, and take that moment to just have a micro meditation to yourself. Uh, so I obviously use the Holy Roots hair oil or um, it's a hair oil that has ashwagandha, dashmul. Ashwagandha is an amazing adaptogen for strengthening your, your hair, your mane. Uh, dashmul, which means 10 roots. We also have bengraj, castor oil, amla oil, a bunch of amazing oils in here that stems from the 4,000 year old science of Ayurveda. So this hair oil is something I massage into my my roots for around maybe a few minutes, five, 10 minutes. And then I spend a lot of time uh, really doing a crown chakra head massage once the oil is started to soak in. And that can be up to even 30 minutes. And normally I try to leave the oil overnight before I wash it out. So the idea is it's a pre-wash hair oil. And I do this maybe once every two, three days, but once a week is perfect. So hair oiling, I really recommend. And I get my neem combs. These are neem combs that we're currently selling on fablemain.com. And then if I want to have a quick nap, I get, uh, what I tend to do is I take a shot of espresso or a coffee, and then I take 15 minute naps or 30 minute naps with my hair all in. And I use my the, the eye mask. And yeah, that's what I currently do. We also have a mini hair oil, which is coming soon. This is the first look at it. It's so cute. And this is perfect for if you're on the go or traveling or just need a little top up by your office desk. But yeah. So one of my favorite things to do at home is board games. And I've recently, I think over the last year or two, got really into board games and been buying a lot more. I recently bought the Seven Wonders, which is apparently meant to be the, the most awarded game ever. So I'm curious to try that. I've got two Risk Game of Thrones, a, like a skirmish version, which is a lighter version and the more full one. And my favorite, favorite game ever, Catan. I've got the Cities and Night expansions. And if you love Catan and you don't have the Cities and Nights expansion, you haven't played Catan yet. So that is awesome. The Seafarers is great and must is the five to six player extension pack. Other games I love is Sequence, an amazing game. Perudo, classic, otherwise known as Liar's Dice. Codenames is a really fun game. Monopoly Deal, nothing more to say but iconic. Other fun games, What Do You Mean, Shot in the Dark, The Plague, kind of maybe not the best game to talk about right now, but in an ironic way, it was one of the most voted and um, reviewed and even bought games on Amazon right now, I guess because of the current time. Labyrinth, a very, very good game. And I also got a backgammon set, one here and one there. But I guess you're all wondering, okay, Akash, this is all great, but who are you going to play with? I live on my own. Or, you know, if you live with family or a sibling or a roommate, then board games, 100%. But if you're like me and you currently live alone in an apartment, I've got another solution for you guys. And how do you do that? You do that by playing online. So you can either play with bots or online with your friends. And uh, you make sure you get your blue light glasses. Uh, it's in my last video, seven tips to stay productive while working from home. So I'll put a little link. And... The games I play personally online, so Catan, as I said before, my favorite board game, there are two great sites. One is called Catan Universe. This one is more completely like the original game. You have actually the expansion packs here. Um, and the actual gameplay, which I'll show you now, is pretty much, this is a bot version, so you can play with um, computer bots online. It's pretty much like the board game itself, so it's really high quality, and um, you can see here it's pretty much like a 3D version. But you also have a more kind of fun and um, I guess you could say more like illustrated uh, version called Colonist.io. I'll put the links in the bio downstairs. And this is another great quick version as well that you can play with your friends. And if you're playing with your friends instead of bots, just jump on a Zoom call and then, 
you know, just play on your individual screens. And that's what I do regularly with my friends. Another thing, this 247 backgammon are all a great way to play with a bot online, quick backgammon. And I sometimes do this when I'm on a Zoom call and I'm trying to multitask and just have a bit of downtime for myself. Board games are so important. So yes, you can have your board games like I showed there um, with, you know, when people are around, if you're fortunate enough, but if not like me, just play them online. So the thing I've recently loved to do, and this is coming from someone who hated doing this when I was younger, now I'm obsessed, is Lego. So I started to research about this because my friend got me this Lego kit and it was a dinosaur um, kind of skeleton trio. And I made them, them in like literally three days and I did them in between meetings and sometimes at night and it was so relaxing, so kind of calming. And the idea of like, it was like a, yeah, just like a immersive transcendent experience of I didn't even know time I was just doing my Lego and then I was like wow an hour left a two hour passed um, I started researching it and I found out it's actually like therapy for adults doing Legos and that kind of brick building so this is my little baby my dinosaur so after that I actually bought I spent a lot of money um the grand piano so this is from Lego ideas it's created by a guy who I don't know how he came up with this idea. So it's like probably a limited edition, definitely a good investment. So this is a grand piano that actually you can play it. And then I think you can connect it to your phone and it actually plays what you play on your phone. I haven't started it. It's kind of probably take me weeks or yeah, a long time, but I'm excited. This is my new kind of project. And just look at that instruction manual. I mean, <laughs> it's not a joke. That is intense, it's pretty much a book, um, but I'm excited. So Lego is definitely a huge thing to do on your own or if you're with, living with someone, grab yourself a Lego kit, reminisce on your childhood, or for me, if you never did Lego, you know, rebuild a childhood that you never once had and start doing Lego. So another thing I like to do in my downtime in between meetings or at the end of the day is tarot. And this is so valuable for me because it just really puts me perspective it's like an affirmation when I'm feeling low I just go to my tarot cards and I feel already so much better um so my favorite tarot decks are mother piece actually inspired during my time at Dior Dior Maria Grazia Curie did a collection with the mother piece tarot um I've got a small version which is great for just traveling and I've got the the normal version I don't know if you recognize some of these artwork but that was in yeah Maria Grazia's Dior collection and uh, Mother Piece is really good because uh, they have a really creative way of how you read tarot um, and uh, how you use the discs. So definitely I would advise getting this. I'll put a link down below. I also have the most traditional kind of tarot deck as well. I've got this modern tarot reader that I picked up at I think Anthropology a few years ago. This is really beautiful. The, the cards are um, quite botanical and very uh, also Similar in terms of how you would traditionally do a tarot deck and tarot reading, but uh, just another version of it. But I still would say I prefer my mother piece. I recently got, by the recent Dior collection, which I'll show you as well, um, they featured the Golden Visconti Tarot deck. And this is stunning. Unfortunately, I, I ordered these and I didn't realize I only bought the Arcana cards, the major Arcana cards, sorry. So... Yeah, more of a decoration piece than actual something I use, but look at that, it's like gold foil. It's so beautiful. And lastly, I've recently been reading this tarot deck I got that was created by Tasha, and it's just so beautiful, a perfect coffee table book. And it's got a bunch of different artists and drawings and the history of tarot, so definitely worth a read. And if you're into tarot, I would revise these three, but these two sets, the Mother Peace and the Golden Visconti are two iconic ones you must have in your collection. But yeah, daily tarot reading, affirmations, definitely something to do to relax at home. Another thing I love to do is read. I honestly don't read in the nighttime. I'm usually so tired, I just fall asleep. So I try to find some time during the day and I go on my couch and that's why I keep my books near my couch. And I love reading books by people that I've either met or I'm inspired by as leaders and entrepreneurs in their own field. So the five current books I would recommend by people I love and know very well 
is Dr. Tyrus Watts' The Source, the Met Meta Human and other Deepak Chopra books, but you know, Meta Human is the recent one I love. Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty, an incredible book by an incredible guy. One Simple Thing by Adi Stan. This is incredible if you want to know about how to connect yoga and science, and it's also forwarded by Deepak Chopra. And then Sinead's book, Break the Mold, is so inspiring. And if you don't know who Sinead is, you must check her out. So these are the five books by five very inspiring people that I would recommend you all to buy their books and check them out and read them. And I'll leave links in the description box below too. So this one's a bit of a wild card. Something I just recently started to do, and I really have found a lot of benefit in doing so, is terrarium. So I recently did a terrarium workshop with my team, organized by Leafage. Um, Kay is the founder, and I, um, I hired them to do a kind of team building workshop for my agency in Fable and Maine. And it was so fun. I'll put some photos now and some behind the scenes from that. I made this little bad boy here with a little Lego character inside. So therapeutic, touching that soil while we're cooped up in this, you know, my, my, my apartment. I felt so connected to nature. The apartment instantly smelled of like earth. And I just, it made me feel so grounded and my whole mood and stress in the day vanished. So I just bought this kind of from H&M Home, just a, a kind of a larger terrarium, not really a terrarium pot, but like a vase that I realized all I need to do is just buy the soil by, you know, you have to figure out, you have to have a specific type of plants, like tropical plants, you've got to have black charcoal, you've got to have some um, stones, uh, the right type of soil. So there is some things to consider, but you can find it online and you know, Google it before you purchase. But yeah, you can just do a DIY terrarium at home. And I think trying it once or twice a month can be so relaxing and therapeutic and just bringing that smell of earth into your, to your room. So yeah, terrarium workshops definitely worth doing. So there you have it. Those are my five easy and fun ways how I've been recently spending my free time and relaxing at home. And it's so important to find those things that you enjoy doing and putting that time aside in your day, whether you even put calendar invites to yourself to ensure that you don't get overworked and not spending 24 seven cooped up in your apartment or home working away. So let me know in the comments below what you enjoy doing and if you end up trying some of my things, whether it's a terrarium, tarot cards, daily affirmations, or even just going back to your childhood and making Lego, let me know. But till then, feel free to subscribe, share this video if you enjoyed it, and see you next video as well. Bye guys!